Plot. Conflict. Character. Setting. Um, foreshadowing? My grandmother used to tell me stories about the old days, a time of peace when the writer kept balance between them. But that all changed when the advent of smartphones caused the cultural attention span to degrade rapidly. Attacked. But I believe that Adam can save the world. A good scene generally strives to achieve at least one of five possible objectives. Advance the plot, create or show conflict, develop a character, establish or build upon the setting, or lay the groundwork for later events. Each scene should have at least one of these boxes checked, but the first two are probably the most important. If there aren't enough scenes that push the plot forward, the audience may feel like nothing is happening. If there's not enough conflict, the story can get boring. This excerpt from Dosis is a great example of what happens when the author has a clear understanding of their scene's goals. This morning, sounding hoarse and exhausted, Blaze, the ex-husband, jumbled his words. His usual sing-song tone, which Elsie attributed to his actually being a singer, was gone. It was replaced by a nearly inaudible whisper. Olivia was leaving her mother's house, he continued. Two men grabbed her, pushed her into a car, and drove off. That moment with Elsie's ex-husband occurs on the first few pages of the story, and gives us a clear understanding of the plot and character's goals. Blaze needs money to pay for Olivia's ransom, but Blaze doesn't have it. The other parts of the scene mention the setting and hint at the character's backstories. Dantica doesn't waste any time and hits all of her objectives in the first scene, and she packs it with a ton of meaning while kicking the main plot into action. If you're not sure if a scene is doing enough, try to write down a goal for it. Every scene has one, whether you made it consciously or not. Then identify which objectives align with your goal. Explicitly stating what you want to do with the scene and focusing on the objectives will help you craft it with purpose. Approaching the story this way will help you get a better sense of how the scene functions in the overarching plot. I think that's one thing Avatar The Last Airbender did really well. There's a fair number of filler episodes, but they still tend to tie into the main story as Aang and his friends travel around the world. For example, in The Great Divide, we're pulled away from the main story to show Team Avatar passing through this canyon. Shockingly, things don't go as planned. We're quickly introduced to the feuding Zhang and Ganjin tribes, and we spend entire scenes with each early in the episode where we not only learn more about their cultures, but also the conflict between them. As this plays out, the different members of Team Avatar are developed as they pick sides. But not much actually happens in these scenes plot-wise. They offer a lot of character and world-building, but you couldn't build an entire story out of scenes like this. Meanwhile, Aang must attempt to broker negotiations between the two tribes. Each of these scenes shows conflict between the two sides and pushes the plot forward as they move through the canyon. This also displays Aang's growth into his role as the Avatar. He has to be a peacemaker, not just a fighter. Finally, if you're still having trouble finding the scene's goal, maybe you don't need the scene. Or maybe you need to try to approach it in a new way. As I've said before, much of writing is in the editing and rewriting of a story. I think that the hallmark of being an experienced author is being able to look at something and say, yeah, that's garbage. I'm tossing it. It's fine to get rid of it and do better. Brian McCullen really nailed it when he said, I think that the, the hallmark of being an experienced author is, is being able to look at something and say, yeah, that's garbage, I'm tossing it, it's fine to get rid of it and do better. So, when looking at your story, remember to think about what every good scene should have, at least one of. The most important thing being that the scene pushes the plot forward or has conflict. They don't all need to have one of those two objectives, but most of your scenes probably should. If you're having problems with a scene, try writing down your goal for it. The goal doesn't have to be complex or detailed, just jot down a sentence about what you're trying to do to help orient yourself and make sure you actually need the scene. And if you find a scene isn't working and nothing is really fixing it, that's fine. Just give yourself some time to try something different. I like the way K.M. Wyland describes scenes as dominoes. Each one is small, 
but they can have immense impacts together. And if one is out of place, then that can lead to some pretty significant issues down the line. By making sure you have a clear goal for each scene, the story as a whole will come out stronger. Thanks for watching. <laughs>